Hello, 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 hello there, I'm Paul, I'm Jason, and together we are Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we did a live cookie cook-off, and it was quite a lot of fun, weren't it? It was great fun. Um, so we planned for this one. Now, uh, we've gone live a couple of minutes early, because, you know, we wanted to there's people waiting. Give ourselves time to just say hello. Let people come in. We know those vegan guys is live now. We are those vegan guys. Oh, YouTube trying to tell us stuff, or our laptop trying to tell us stuff. So we've got everything ready. Um, we'll wait for a few more people. Do you want to do the chat arrow so yes. it's not doing that? Yes. There we go. Yeah, we need to see it. And we'll do a quick shout out to a few people whilst we're waiting. Hello, Chris. Hello, Bev, Susie, Ekaterina, Jill, Linda, Michelle, Denise, Susie, Julie, Linda, Deb, Hedge, of course, Bev, Felicia, Miss Horror Geek, Curious Coconut. John the Legs, Leanne, of course. Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> Gorgy man, what's up? Thank you for joining us, Muddy Paws. I think I've got, got everyone there. Ben, thank you for joining us. Oh, yes. Thick and fast, the people come to bake the brownies. <laughs> now, forewarned is forearmed. This is not a particularly healthy brownie. At some point in the very near future, because we're very much steering in that direction, uh, as you will have seen from the recent hummus um, recipe, which was very good. And for those watching this video after the fact, I will go back and link the hummus video up there. Um, but yeah, this is this is treat brownie. This is not healthy brownie, but at some time over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to search for a very healthy brownie recipe, try uh, probably using black beans. Oh, okay. And I know that some people today will be uh, substituting the oil for aquafaba and other wonderful things. Um, so, <sighs> Jason, would you like to preheat the oven to 180 fan? Okay, so I'm going to preheat the oven to 180 fan. Would you care to join me, those people that are here who are cooking <laughs> along with us and not just watching for entertainment and watching me attempt to do something in the kitchen? 180, yeah? <laughs> I might like a glass of wine whilst I'm watching this. What, Julie? Is it 180 fan assisted? Yes. Okay. It sure is. Okay, and that'll, that'll take about... Five, ten minutes? That'll take about ten... Yeah, a little bit more than ten minutes, I think. Um, uh, but that's all right, because that gives us a chance to uh, go over these uh, ingredients. So, do you want to tell people what ingredients you've got, Jess? Yes! So, sorry, I'm just checking. Yes, preheat 180 with... Uh, we're using a fan oven, so yes, 180 with a fan. Yeah, Oh, and that would be gas mark for or uh, 350 Fahrenheit, um, for those of you out there. Yeah. Uh, and if you haven't got a fan oven, uh, I'd go 190, 195. Right. Fan assisted. Well, one, go. well, they do say fan assisted 160. But I always do this at 180, always. Hi, Paolo. Hi, Matt. Hi, Psycho Princess. Thank you for joining Hello. us, and we are going to do that. We're going to bake the hell out of it. Could you pass me a bottle of wine? Because I am having a glass. There you go. And please, please, do you like? Yeah, I'll have a little one. Mm -hmm. Keith Floyd inspired. So, whilst Paul's pouring the wine, I'm going to pretend that I know what I'm doing. So, what we've got is, we've got some plain flour. 250 grams. 250 grams plain flour. 350 grams of, what type of sugar is it? Demerara. Demerara. Well, remember, on, sugar. on the measurement. Um, we have 65 grams cacao. 68. 68 grams cacao. But anywhere between 65 and 70 is great. Yeah. They're the dry ingredients. Uh, no, there's one more dry ingredient. Um, salt. 
a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder and they're in the same little bowl there that's it only like the whisk so do you want do you want to sift your flour maybe into 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 there just so it's nice and fine and there's not yes cheers. Have a little sip. cheers everybody cheers everyone thank you very much for joining us on another live oh don't think you've noticed by the way the community tab we're sharing it for the vegan queens the vegan queens who as you know have now moved back over to their own channel have had all their pride performances cancelled this year and they're sick of it because they were right ready so they're doing a live pride show in our backyard on the 21st of june at 3 p.m and we'd really love it if we could get their channel up to a thousand subs by then so it would be a really big celebration yeah um but gemini and miasma will be together live in this back garden socially distant performing and you will not hear the last of that today in this live oh no we will of course be plugging that um but your support will be massively appreciated uh so yeah while the oven is preheating um just pick I up one lift it myself just ever to oh no, no that's cool so that's probably help i can see a bit better yes much better um picking up on a couple of comments before i start sifting okay uh ben all my cakes burn i haven't any uh haven't any oven on boat cupcakes with no egg replacement were like brownies come Yorkshire pods okay okay and uh Kerry's edits just turn my oven on albeit I'm not making brownies still cooking along with you might have a wee <laughs> Jack Daniels and cheers you as hey, well why oh. the hell not amazing you get yourself a, a Jack Daniels girl right so you want to sift your flour Jason yes um people will be able to see into, this okay won't they into you into, well stand up and start doing it and I'll yeah. Well, I mean, what you could do now... Yeah, well, is... should I do that? Just lift this up a little bit, like this. That's it, I'll just come around here, and I can just... Oh, thank you, Darren, for the super chat. That's very lovely of you, so, and so... much appreciated, as always. There we go. So they can see the bowl, but not your face. They can kind of see this here. Okay. Like that's fine. That's perfect, actually. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah. So in and in, in there, and then uh, sift it all. Can I just pour it all in. Yeah, of course you can. Just like you did with the cookies, remember? Vaguely, yeah. Okay, I'll move that bowl for you. Thank you. And then just yeah. You can even use this if you want. Oh, it just does it, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's easier. You'll probably you'll probably end up with a few lunch, Jason, that that are really stubborn. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, that's flour for you. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Then what? Uh, then your sugar. Is everybody doing it with us? <laughs> sugar, just straight in, yeah. Yeah, that's because if we put that in the sieve, it won't go through. It's too thick. It's it's granular. Of course. Of course. Okay, give that a little mix if you want, just to kind of... Mixy, mixy! What butter replacement do you use for brownies and cakes and things, Miss Horror Geek asks? Uh, anything plant-based. Uh, last time, when we did the cookie, um, when we did the cookie one, we used um, Pure... It's a brand called uh, Pure Beer. Who asked? Um, oh, Miss Hor Yes, Miss Horrocky, yes. Yeah, um, so any any plant based, this particular one said perfect for baking. Actually, it's in the fridge, yeah. If you just want to. Oh, the pink one? Yeah. yeah. It's easier for you to do it because then you can see. That's the one! Um, but, oh, thank you, Kat, for the super chat. Thank you, Cat, for the Super Chat. Super Chat, Cat! Yeah, we used that one for the cookies, but we've used Flora, Flora Buttery, um, Vitalite. Most of them over the years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
so the, all your dry ingredients basically Jason are going in here yeah so you can add your cocoa and your uh, salt and baking powder now and get that into a nice I'll put this in first yeah that's the cocoa powder going in I'm doing that on teller. Where's not one? You know when they get the bits. Well, that's why. And you'll be doing the same with the oil and water, but you'll be doing it in the spatula because uh, you've got the oil clings to the sides of the jug, and you've got to get every little bit in there. So that's the one teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah. One teaspoon of salt. All following. The lad goes in. I'm not. And give that a nice sandwich round. the cocoa you can smell. Yeah. Lovely in it. Yeah. Now it's up to you how you do this. You can either add a teaspoon of vanilla e extract to your already existing water and oil mix and then pour that in. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go straight in there with a teaspoon and then we start to put this in. Um whichever way you want to do it. I'll do this first. A good shake. Good, very expensive vanilla extract. I think it's from Sainsbury's. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's from Sainsbury's. So just one? One one teaspoon. Yeah, nice level teaspoon. It doesn't matter really if it overspills a little bit, not when it comes to vanilla, to be honest with you. Go a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. There you go. Yes. Did you mind? Thank you. And now, Jason, we incorporate the, this mm -hmm. and start to mix slowly, and you'll you'll get a gorgeous batter. Okay. Cookie batter. First uh, brownie batter. So I'm incorporating it. I'm not just pouring it all straight you in. You can do. Honestly, it really doesn't matter because it will all mix really, really well. Okay. Yeah. What you will need to do, Jason. It's scrape once you've yeah. emptied it all in there. Scrape, scrape the edges. The inside of the jug. Do you want me to do that for you? Yes, please. Thank you. Because the oil has a tendency to cling. So, yeah, this is one of those brownies that you make now and again as a treat. Um, but I'm sure once we find a healthier uh, brownie, that we can work on and adapt to make it work and taste really good. Even we'll start um, favouring that. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, cheers for the super chat, dude. We're fast approaching the point at which I would just close the curtains. <laughs> shove my face into the bowl. Yeah. Um, Matt, by the way, is uh, the owner of the the, the <laughs> his partner are the distance the distance live. We shared a link on our community page the other day to a cover they've done. I'm I'm going to tell you nothing more. After this, go to our community section on our channel. Scroll down to the song I shared. And you'll know why. Yes, all of that, all of that, and more besides. So really vigorously risk this now, Jason. We want to get rid of any lumps or anything. We want it to be a really nice smooth batter. And do you want to tell everyone what we're putting in? How was? We're going to put. We're going to put some chocolate nibs. Uh, no, these are actual chocolate chips. Proper chocolate chips, the ones I've got from Aldi. Chocolate chips. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chips. Chips. Um, and we're going to put some, uh, is it dates? And Chopped prunes and dates. Prunes and dates. Yep. There you go. Because Paul, helping me out before we started, measured everything out. Maybe next time I'm the one that has to do all the measuring. <laughs> yeah, because it's pretty easy, actually. I reset. We've got one of those electronic scales. I turn it off and on for everything. I, I put my the bowl I'm going to measure the flour in, let's say, then turn it on so it starts at zero and I've got the bowl 
with the flour. Excellent. Can you show everyone how glossy and lovely that batter is now? Just so making sure not to uh, tip it over the laptop. Yeah, it's looking good. So give it a bit more, yeah? Yeah. Because... Do you want me to mix it for, for a bit for yeah, you? do it all for you. Do it all, me. Do it all. So now I'm doing... Hang on. While I'm doing the boring mixing part now, mm -hmm. let me just do this. Because... There we go. There we go. Yes. Because people don't need to be able to see it, see the in the bowl mixing, do they? Do you know what I mean? Not really. Keep calm and bear with us. Staff not so. <laughs> <laughs> You're angry <with> <laughs> uh, I can incorporate these things in and just again give it another um, whisk. Well, Look. I got I got accused of being too gentle when we did the cookies. So That's looking amazing. Giving it a bit of well. Yeah. If you just leave that for a second, and you'll see. Just leave it for a second. See how it starts to look like melted milk chocolate. That's when you know it's perfect. Got a sweat on. That's when you know it's perfect, guys. When it looks like melted milk chocolate. Woo! Paolo says, I would put some liquor too. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we've got no, have we? Not really, no. Got no brandy on Oh, it. thank you, Lucy, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucy. Oh. Right, get all this fruit in for your bronze. And sprinkling them chocolate chips. Amazing. And then just, just mix it in. Do you mind if I put some... Salted peanuts in there? No. No? No, just a small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. There we go. Bobby, you've got to, uh, you've got to give it some old uh, elbow grease with the arm. Here. Yeah. Here. That's the great thing about having a camera on a phone. We can just do that. Oh, look at the lovely chocolate batter. Chocolate crumb. It is beautiful times. Ready for the oven time baking time, please. <laughs> Look, you can see yourselves. Oh, DME, thank you for the super chat. Thank it, you so much. It's you lot there chatting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, DME. Thank you so much. Hope everybody that is cooking along is uh, is managing okay and keeping up with this lightning fast chef at the helm here. I'm quite enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could do more. I could get into this. Right, well I've already greased your baking tray for you. Which is this one. Oh Jason, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, fellow Jason. From Canada. <laughs> Next time add some jelly guys, Paolo says. Jelly? Yeah. Miss Horrigy looks delicious. It smells delicious as well. It does smell good, doesn't it? It smells really, really <laughs> nice, actually. Hedge says, big improvement on last time, Jason. More confidence. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe this is just it. Maybe this is going to become my little thing. I, I, might, I might get into this. Um, the oven's ready. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then we can okay. to just sit and chill. I pause for a second. <laughs> No, that's fine. So I'm going to be pouring now. Yeah, yeah. be pouring it into there. Now, what I would suggest, like I said, some bits I might need that. would stick in there. No, 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 no. Because that won't necessarily help. Then. Oh, the spatula. Yeah. Yes, of course. So, yeah, I hope everyone who is cooking along is ready to pour into the, um, into the baking tray now. Cheers.
And we're pouring. We're pouring. We're pouring. Get it. Just pour from one place, and then you even it all out with the spatula once you scrape the bowl out. Setting yourself a bit of work. Oh, okay. Letting it. Yeah, okay. Do its thing. I'm letting it do its thing, man. Send some stuff, man. Some things. Won't recommend it. Just make sure you get all that batter. I'll put this away. Oh, it's filthy. Are we loving this? <laughs> <laughs> Vegan chocolate heaven, precisely, Kelly. Like Paul said at the start, this is not something that you would indulge in on a regular basis by any means. Well, you can if you want to. If you're a regular gym goer and you can burn off your sugars, good on you. But, you know, everyone's got to have a treat. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a treat. You don't have to eat whole food, plant-based, all the time. However, this is whole food, plant-based, <laughs> you know. <sighs> so, so now I just, so just make a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. What we're doing now is, just give it a little shape so it settles. Yep. Can I, can I fold that over because it's bugging me? You do that. Full bottle. This is bugging me. I do that. It's that's to help us get it out after. Ah, uh, okay. No, it's all right though. It's, I mean, you can. No, it's all right. Oh, let's have a look. See what's going on. Do you want to? Yes. How are we all doing? How's everyone doing? <laughs> Paolo, I'm drinking sparkling ice water, so come here, Cassius, Cassius, guys, come here, not Greece. <laughs> nice. I don't think we'll be going anywhere abroad for quite a while, unfortunately. Yeah, it would seem. But so. less said about that, the better. Right, Jay, you can get that in the, um, in the oven. Nomskis, nomskis. You put it back up straight. Yeah. Yeah. Get it in the oven on the um, on that middle shelf because that's the warmest part of the oven. Keep your eye on the time. What time is it? Twenty uh, past. Twenty past six. Okey doke. So minimum twenty two seven. Probably more around quarter two, really. Oh, amazing. There we go, guys. Have you all, if those of you who've been cooking along, are your brownies now in the oven? I are, are you in the oven with us? You, Not in the oven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you put your goods in the oven? <laughs> Lateral Alice. Jason cleaned the bowl of mixture too much. Gotta to leave a bit to eat. <laughs> there might still be a little bit in there, to be fair. Yeah, we'll try a bit. Try it. You'll find it's quite beautiful. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah. It's really rich, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really rich and really indulgent. And it bakes well as well. Now, if you want a gooey scented brownie, you're going to be actually aiming at more like 15, 20 minutes. And... um. I've never managed to get a really good gooey centre in a brownie. Always a little bit softer. Um, but I, I think I'm one of those people who doesn't like the... Because um, you've got to do that thing. You've got to take cakes out when they feel underdone to get that, like... Kaz did it with the quiche not so long back. She said the top was dead firm, but it felt like liquid underneath. Mm. And then she took it out and it cooled and it was yeah, it was perfect. Similar situation I with think, cookies. Well, I think, and I think it's the same thing with the brownie as well. Uh, Deb, all is good. Middle shelf. Well, thank you. Yeah, I was listening. I was paying attention like a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> but you did make me second guess myself. I did look back over my shoulder just to check. We're having a takeaway tonight, guys. 
um, as our as our monthly treat. Uh, we're having a takeaway from Zad's um, takeaway again because uh, it's all done tonight. Zad's is this incredible um, vegan, fully vegan pizza burger joint. Uh, and Oldham doesn't normally fall under their um, delivery radius. Yeah, but since all of this, of course, uh, they've they've they're basically delivering throughout all of Manchester. So they've now got a group on Facebook called Zad's Out of Range Delivery Group, and every day they announce where they're going to be, and then they ask. It's a really good system they've got. They ask people to message them in the morning with their postcode they add the postcode to the app so that the app, app accepts your order you order on the app pay on the app you get your delivery uh, so we're due about eight o'clock tonight and we did an amazing video the first time we had this ads delivered and uh, if i can remember to go back how long we've we been on now um just after we put the brown in the oven yeah. Sads. <laughs> Zads. Effie has just said um, you could use that recipe for microwave mud cakes. Just tip some in a mug and microwave for a couple of minutes. Funnily enough, we were watching Cheap Ways of Vegan earlier on, and she did uh, a brownie in a cup in the with, microwave with tahini. With tahini. Yeah. Tahini flour, cocoa, sugar, and plant milk. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And yeah. Some chocolate chips. Uh, and you cook it for like a minute. It looks great. But this is um, this is for when you want to do a tray bake. You know, so like you've got a big family or the sixteen. It's supposed to do sixteen, isn't it? It cut it cuts into what do I normally do? Fifteen exactly because I do three rows length and five. Yeah, length, yeah, yeah. Three rows over the long width. Yeah, and then five. Oh, Darren. Darren Kelly, I oh. bought the new Chicago Time vegan pizza to try for dinner tonight. I'm legit excited for this. You should be. It's brilliant. It's gorgeous. Darren, dare I ask? It's so good. Dare it's I gorgeous. ask, are you in a fortunate opportunity to be able to eat the full pizza to yourself? Because that will make it extra special. Listen, you did. Made the most. First time we had it, cooked it, cut it in half. I had the smaller half, I always do. <laughs> yeah. So Valentine he got one on his own. Oh, so nice. Hey, Hench is in the house. How's it going, Hench? Nice of you to join us for this rather unhealthy uh, brownie cooking session. Oh, uh, god damn! You would not approve. Oh, oh muddy paws. Muddy paws, bless you. Bless your Have muddy paws. Take away on me, guys. Thanks so. all. Thank you so much, Muddy Paws. We Thank will you. have our takeaway on you tonight. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That means the world. Hey, Turbo's book is half price, four ninety nine. I'm not on commission. I'm not scared of him. It's bleeding good. <laughs> no, it is not. It it's a Check really it good out. book. Check it out. Absolutely. I want to do a couple more recipes from it at some point. Uh, but I'll have to have. Uh, I'll have to creep up. What, uh, I'll have to be messaging our Gemma, saying, Gemma, do you mind if I do that one? She'll be like, shut it, you. No, I'm doing that. She'd never be like that, she Gemma. She'd never She's be like that. Gentle. Never. But yeah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. We need to try some more stuff. And as we've said, you know, we are leaning in that direction. We're heading in that we direction. We are never, ever. I'm, I'm laying this on the cards right now. Laying it on the we're, cards? We're laying the cards on the table right now. We are never, never, ever going to be... 100% whole food plant based. Fair. Because we enjoy our food too much. We really enjoy our um, meat alternatives. And they're always going to be a part of our diet that they might reduce. And whole food plant based will certainly increase. Because what we've learned is that when we do have a meal that is completely whole food plant based, we feel amazing. Yeah. Afterwards. Big time. Full deliciously full yeah but really like oh god i feel great yeah i feel great and every time without fail yes yeah, and so we always acknowledge we, it don't well we? that's oh, why yeah. we've started incorporating it more yeah. haven't we and you know yeah um linus just and i'm never i'm never buying hummus again now i've made it with aquafaba i'm just like <laughs> it's amazing yeah it's it really so is, good it? just earlier the hummus recipe that was the perfect recipe 
for a basic plain hummus. Add more lemon juice, more garlic, fresh coriander. You've got a lemon and coriander one. Mm -hmm. Had add ras el hamout and chickpeas. You've got a Middle Eastern. You know it's amazing. <laughs> how is how is Bobby? Oh, Leanne, bless you. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I love that. Oh dear. That was amazing. Denine says, "Paul, I love that hummus recipe. Yeah, it's a really good. It's a really good one, isn't it? And then it also gives you scope, like Paul said." To kind of make it your own and kind of experiment a little bit with. Well, it was my experiment, and, and I didn't follow anybody's recipe to the letter. I saw a few recipes, and I was like, right, if that and that works there, and that and that works there, this has got to work. This must work. Because a lot of the recipes I saw that did use the aquafaba didn't use tahini. It was like a, it was like a complete whole food plant based, fat free, da da da. But I wanted to use tahini because I've been bloody waiting for it from Sainsbury's for days and then I got it. Um, you know, and it, it, it was, it was, it was great. Mm. I'm so, I'm dead chuffed with that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, I know. I remember you saying that you was using some uh, slight alternative cooking ingredients and methods. Um, so I hope your brownies yeah. turn out okay. Bobby is using... What was it? Aquafaba, wasn't it? Aquafaba instead of oil and... Some kind of... What was the sugar alternative? Raisin paste. Raisin paste instead and aquafaba? And an uh, air fryer. We want an air fryer dead bad. We're going to have to wait a couple of months. But we um, really want an air fryer. It is on our Amazon wish list. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice one, everyone. How long have they been in now, the brownies? Um, what time is it? Uh, half past, just gone half past. Ten minutes. 20 past they went in. It's all right, it's all right. This is, this is, this is baking, love. This is what happens. You make something and then you have to wait. So, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, <laughs> Psycho Princess, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll try them at 20. If you would like to get a wooden skewer out of the cutlery drawer, and you can use that as your uh, porking implement, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll pork on an edge. We'll give it until um, 22, like we said. And then we'll pork on the edge and we'll pork in the middle. And if it, this doesn't come out with batter on it, mm -hmm. it's done. Even if it feels really soft in the middle because we want that moistness. Okay. Okay. It's getting serious now. Getting serious for a minute. Well, it won't. It'll get serious when they come out of the oven. It will get serious um, when they come out of the oven. So what have we ordered from Zad's tonight, I'll tell you. Oh. We've ordered the um, Revolution pizza. I can't remember what's on it. But we've ordered the Revolution pizza. Revolution. We've yeah. ordered a 12 inch garlic bread, not with cheese. I know the Revolution's got Scotch bonnets on it. Yes. And last time we ordered the garlic bread, we had we had half the pizza and half the garlic bread for our dinner that night. Half the pizza the next day, and the garlic bread I froze, and we had the next week with a pasta dish. I just we warmed it in the oven and poured a little bit of fresh garlic butter over it. It was amazing. It was so good. So good, it was a brilliant idea, and it's just going to become a standard now, isn't it? Yeah, um, Kat, you might be able to answer this. Kat's saying, uh, We've got a bottle of apple cider vinegar in the cupboard as it was cheap and read it was good for you. Do you use it in any recipes? Apple cider vinegar, you use you that, yeah, it's um, you can use it in um, you can use it in oh, oh Bev, uh, thank you for the super well, chat. That, well, that was the air right on. My birthday early in the week, so sharing the positives. Oh, happy birthday! Happy oh. belated birthday, Beth. Thank you for the soup chat and. Think. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. A little delayed. 
Happy birthday, dear Bev. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Thank you, Bev. Happy seriously. birthday, Bev. And Felicia, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I'm so glad you made it and you got to join in and be here with us. And uh, the super chat is a wonderful thing. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so, so much. Oh, hey, Hench. Oh, dude. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hench. Thank you. Thank you, dude. That means the world. Um, that's really nice. Um, I'll give it you right back and you can teach me how to grow my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, seriously, though, thank you, everyone. Uh, that's really appreciated. Thank you. Massively. Uh, and uh, back to Bev. Happy birthday. Happy b belated birthday, Bev. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy. I hope you had a really wonderful birthday and uh, spent some QT with our joy. Yes. Yes. All of that. Uh, Lucy's just ordered Hench's book. You brilliant. won't regret it, Lucy. You won't regret it, Lucy. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> First thing you should try, pineapple and black bean. Stew. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. You know what I mean? Put it in kitchen here and it was absolutely gorgeous. Or oh, hench. This this is a compliment, hench. It's built like a brick shit house. And it says in his book, two servings, two servings, my ass. Four servings. We had it with rice. No, we had it with rice on the yeah. first night we made it and we had it for lunch the next day. And we had a big tidy bowl of it for lunch. Yeah. So that particular recipe serves four, not two. But really well. Oh God, it's good. Homemade mama. I'm late, guys. How are you guys doing? We're doing great because we've got some gorgeous, fingers crossed, brownies coming out of the oven in about 10 minutes. What time is it? Five minutes. 36 we're on. All right, so just a few more minutes and you can check the rules because it'll be 20. Oh, Gemma, um, I recommended you guys to my mum and she says she absolutely loves your videos. Oh, bless. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma. That's so nice. Thanks, Gemma. Is that is that Gemma Herbivore? Uh, Gemma Lulu. Yeah, so good. Yeah, I'll say it again just because it is worth saying again. Henchy's book is like 4 99 at the moment. Um, and... If you've ever seen his channel and some of his food, you'll know already it's worth buying. Big so. time, big time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Do you want to check? I'll have a little looky. I'll have a little looky. What time is it? It needs... No, no, no. It needs no. to be 22. It needs to be 20 minutes, really. Yeah. Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes and I'll check. Three minutes and I'll check. Although you have got it on more like 190. I better check it, hadn't I? Did you hear that? Did you hear what you just said? Apparently I've put the oven on 190 instead of 180. Oh, thank you, Beth, for pointing that out. Come on, guys, thumbs up, would you? <laughs> 93 watching and only 64 likes. All you have to do is close the chat, like the video, reopen, and everything will be there just as it was before. That's my uh, Pathé News voice. Love it. Love <laughs> it. Um, those that are cooking along... He's smelling the smells. He's smelling the smells. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm better on a look at it, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. in the middle and on the end. On the end first. Oh, no, it's still quite shiny on top. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. You can tell. How is it still very oh. shiny on top? Oh, Denise, thank you so much for the super chat, my love. Thank you, Denise. How many are actually cooking along with us? Give us a love heart if you're cooking along with us, if you're actually doing this brownie bake. Please do, and then we know how many. Thank that, you, Denise, by the way. That would be awesome. There we go. The likes have grown now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's loads doing it. That's amazing. <laughs> Bev says, smells amazing via Thinterweb. <laughs> I was trying to waft it in your direction. <laughs> Perpetually annoyed. I'm cooking vicariously through you. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. Oh, and we've just hit a hundred viewers. Hello, a hundred viewers of the world. <laughs> viewers of the world. Every boy and every girl. Vegans of the world. Ah. Uh... Uh... 
Have you come to us? Because we're cooking a brownie. And it's still in the oven. But we're taking it out soon. All of that. I fitted words to the melody. I always do. Arakun Sandora. Arakun Sandora. I'm actually making soy mince patties. Oh, I made nice. this. The vegan queens have got a recipe on this channel doing that. Cornish pasties, they said. They're putting it in cubes. Uh, Darren, um, I'm sorry you couldn't get the ingredients, but the recipe is well worth a try. If I can manage it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, these are going to come out good. If I can manage to do it, then anybody can do it, uh, without a doubt. <laughs> Paul and Jason, the next cooking large journal. Cook along. Nice one. Yes. Nice one, Denise. Good, good, good. If front and cooking. We don't know what we're going to do next time. Maybe we'll do something savory next time, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean it depends whether you want to follow this flow. It's like, there's no set rules to this. It's like, if we're doing a live cook-along, it doesn't have to be me doing the cooking, does it? That's not like a thing now, is it? That's not a thing now, is it? I'm thinking so. I cook enough. Well, you just have to think about what we're cooking then if I'm going to be doing it. But I would never leave you struggling. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> right. Oh, Emily, I'm so sorry. That's been I really want a brownie now. I was only here for the bands. <laughs> 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 yeah, Kelly, sorry, you mentioned it before and I, and it slipped my mind and it's come back up again. Uh, Paul and Jason, we all want a TVG apron. Any plans to add to the merch store? Oh, that's, that, that might be something we can look into. Who knows? Some point, some point in the future. Ready? Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. Ba, ba, ba. Middle first, does it matter? End first. End first. End first. Oh no, it needs longer that, even I can tell. Oh, I don't know. Now in the middle. I don't know. Feel it on the top. Oh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? That's done. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. If you, if you want it nice and soft on the inside, that's done. So just for now, just put it over there on the glass, Jason. Yep, turn the oven off. Marvellous. And then we do have a lovely little cooling rack that we can pop it on here. Mmm, nomskis. What I usually do is I just pull from one end and do that. Fabulous. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it smells beautiful. It smells really, really good, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, it really does, doesn't it? Leanne, really? Really? Nowhere near cook? Is it, are you fan-assisted? That's why we have to be careful, you see. We've got oh, Darren, thank you for the uh, thank you for the super chat. Bravo! <laughs> yeah, I'm chuffed with these. These look. This is looking good. Yeah. I said these. They'll be these when they're chopped up. But haven't you got to like leave them for five, ten minutes when they first come out of the oven? Yeah, yeah. So we'll do that, and then we'll try and end. You know. Oh, Deneen, Yeah, honestly, if you was here. Can that not go up and in a bit so it gets us and that? That is. I do. Hello. We're adjusting the camera so that you can see things. Nobody's bothered about pots, Jason. 
There you go. There yeah? you go. That's it. Oh. Is, that, is that all right? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> That'll do. Stop. Stop everything. <sighs> yeah, that's okay. There we go. That's a nice, glossy brownie. It's not going to be soft or fluffy on the inside. <laughs> Leanne, you sure yours ain't done? How do you know? Because I can tell already. I it's don't know. That's firm cake. Cakey! <laughs> oh, Linda is, is, is out of the oven now. I need it in my belly as well, but unfortunately, I, I don't. We're going to try a bit, obviously, but we are not going to try a lot because we've got the Zads uh, takeaway coming at 8, I think, or sometime later on. Yeah, around 8.15. <laughs> it should arrive. Uh, Psycho Princess 13, mine are out. Angie's drooling. <laughs> I'm going to have a tad more, oh, tad more wine, Mr. Bromley. Leanne says it's actually still running. Running? What's wrong with you? Has it been in as long as ours? Have you used a much smaller cooking tray? So it's dense, so it's thicker. Liam. Um, yeah, Hedge says now, uh, Jason, we can now call you Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny Craddy. <laughs> nice. Uh, Liam says mine's deeper, I think. Uh, Michelle, oh, you are cooking along with us. We didn't know, Michelle. Mine is out. It's risen like nobody's business. Ooh. Amazing. Has it proper risen? Did you use self-raising flour instead of plain? Ooh. Well, actually, that's a good point. What Would that be a problem with a brownie? Well, self-raising flour has already got raising agents within it, like baking powder or baking soda. So it's going to do it's going to do even more than the baking powder? If you add baking powder and self-raising flour, yeah. then it's going it, gonna... to it's gonna raise more. Right. But it might taste great, Michelle. Let us know. I'm going to leave this cooling for another five minutes or so, and then we've got to try and end, don't Yeah. We? we have to. Curious coconut. Mine's in a bowl with a co-op, with a cup of Ben and Jerry's peanut butter ice cream oh, stuff in his face. Oh, nice. Amazing. <laughs> One brownie and ice cream. Amazing. Love that. Uh, Michelle says, no, she used gluten-free flour. Oh. Um, but I tipped a load of baking powder in it. Ah, okay. Oh, which flower did you use, Michelle? Because people might be interested if... Because if, it's quite a lot of gluten. Ah, Michelle's been very clever. Uh, she says, I filmed it all so my vid will be out in a couple of days. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Love that. Love that. Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, really hope that everybody who has enjoyed... Who's been here at Cooking Along has enjoyed it. Uh, but also hope, obviously, everybody that's here uh, who isn't cooking along has equally enjoyed uh, just being a part of the experience. Do you want to pass us a knife and we can cut an edge off and just let it cool a little bit before we... Um, Should before I we... cut it? Yeah, you can do. I was just going to do a kind of, you know, like a strip. Yeah. Unless you want to cut an actual piece so that we get to see what it's like in the... Like just a square piece, like yeah, yeah. that sort of size. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Oh, it's got another crusty out of mm. it. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. I saw a little peanut. There's a little peanut there. Oh, it is fudgy in the middle. It is, it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. If I move out of the way, will it focus on it? Um, I think it's doing all right. I think people can see it. It's delightful, this bit here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's lovely and soft, isn't it? There we go. Amazing! <clears throat> and then, you see, what we can do with that is just cut it that way. Mm -hmm. We've got a bit each to try. Ooh. <laughs> 
don't need to be able to see the brownie tray now. But people do need to be able to see us. All that in bits, lovely. <clears throat> just a little crusty bit. Have you just tried a bit? No, 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 just a, a tiny, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Shall we try a bit when well, it's hot? Yeah. Just because. Well, it's been like it's been like five minutes, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's go for it. Diving in. Cheers. Ah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. You have little faith. What have I done now? I said it wasn't going to be chewy. Mmm. I was just fudgy in the middle. Mmm. The salted peanuts are gorgeous in it. You get a pop of chocolate, a pop of fruit, and then a crunchy, still slightly salty peanut, which I love that juxtaposed to chocolate. They're beautiful. And here's the thing, if you've made this, remember the recipe, mm. and you can add anything you want to it. Once you've got that basic recipe, you could even try like 125 mil of oil, 125 mil of aquafaba, and then the rest water, and that might work. Yeah. But if you use this classic recipe with the oil, as it is, put whatever you want in it, whatever fruit or nut or seed or grain or... Mm -hmm. It's versatile, isn't it? Yeah. It's versatile with what you can do with it. It's great. It's fail safe, having that base baseline uh, list mm. of ingredients, whack it all together, mix your dry, add in your wet, put your own personal touch on it. I'm well impressed with that. Yeah, that's not going to last long in this house. Definitely not going to last long in this house. <laughs> the phlegm flay, phlegm, the phlegm face. Hello, lads. Hello. <laughs> you just caught us at a bad time. <laughs> or a good time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with these. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, I think I've obviously got a natural ability in the kitchen that has as yet been undiscovered. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably... Oh, uh, no, I'm going to have to live with this now, darling. Probably do more things in the kitchen um, and explore this talent, this raw, chained talent, in a way. It's been chained for, for so long, um, and now it's becoming evident. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> just, just can't. <laughs> it's becoming evident, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this. I love you cooking. <laughs> Good. I love you cooking. And I've always wanted you to get more involved in the kitchen. I've been asking you for a long time to get involved in the kitchen with me. I have to confess, though. So I'm very glad you have. My passion does lie with sweet things. Um, baking, cakes, sugary, chocolatey, chewy, sweety things. Um, so, yeah, generally lean definitely more in that direction. Uh, without a doubt. Um, thank you for the well done's. Uh, yes, people. thank you. Thank you, everybody. And thank you for the 91 likes and the one dislike. Love you all. Come on. Mm, it's got peanuts in my teeth now. Just had to dash and let the child in, the little child ice. Yes, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, do you want to move that? That's quality. Is that all right to hold on the bottom? Well, I would hold from the side. Well, let go of them. Sort of. Yeah, there we go. I'll just pop it over there. Uh, Take mum a slice down later. Work tomorrow. Um, if we could see your mum and dad over the next few days, ask them if they want a slice. Yeah, we can drop some on the doorstep. Absolutely. As has become the norm. Pam says, Jason, you can be the next Martha Stewart. Yes. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, do you want to, uh, in fact, I'll do it. What are you doing? I'm moving the camera now. All right. <laughs> Hedge says, 
Pudding and spuds by Jason, everything else by Paul. Good division <laughs> of labour. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's nice. perfect, actually. Yes. Uh, yeah, phlegm, the phlegm face, um, we, yeah, we said earlier in the video, this is not a healthy recipe by any means, but uh, for those like yourself uh, who've got a sweet tooth, it's perfect. Uh, it's actually, that's one, I mean, I, although I like desserts, I do love sweet things, I'm much more of a savoury person. I've only really scanned the same sections of your um, cookbook, Hench. Are there any healthy desserts in there that we could uh, oh, yeah. perhaps do a recipe video for one of them uh, and then incorporate it into our um, into our repertoire of food, you know? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I know that there are um, there are black bean based brownies. Mm -hmm. I don't know how good they are, but I'm... In a similar way um, that people use, like, chocolate cakes and stuff, you could incorporate beetroot into a brownie, possibly. Yeah, there's probably a recipe for beetroot brownie, actually. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, homemade mama, because I was late, I didn't hear what temperature and how long you baked it. Ah, um, fan oven. Um, if you're in America, that's around 350 Fahrenheit. And if you use gas oven, it's about gas man just 20 minutes. Uh, Jason felt thought it felt a bit soft, but it's perfect. It's good, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. perfect. And it's got a nice fudgy center mm. like a brownie should have. Uh, Muddy Paws says, Hench has a sweet potato brownie, I think. Oh, nice, excellent. Well, we'll probably try that. Uh, Matt, thank you for joining us. Got a scoot, guys. Outstanding work. Thank you, thank Matt. you, thank Matt. you for the super chat. Please, guys, don't forget to go and check out our community tab. Go check out the distance. Yes. They are incredible. Talent. Simple. It, it, just beautiful. Uh, Matt, just so you know, uh, you and your lovely lady have actually given me goosebumps and made me cry a couple of times, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 20 minutes of torture when you're waiting for a brownie. <laughs> Flan face, yeah. I'm, I'm worried about Leanne. She said there's some liquid. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, Take care, Matt. Yeah, all the Lots best. All the best, and thank you, um, thank you to you for joining us. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, Lucy, Hench has got a black bean brownie and a raspberry and cashew nut mousse. Oh, I remember the mousse. Oh, I remember the mousse. Actually, yes. watched the video of that being made, <laughs> so I could do a recipe video of that because it's already on YouTube, mm. and I can just say it's from Hench Herbidor. Don't even have to ask permission. Uh, Aaron says, could you incorporate salted caramel into the brownie somehow? Oh, yes. So if you had a salted caramel sauce, what I would do is I would lay half the brownie in the baking accoutrement. Accoutrement. Uh, then drizzle your salted caramel sauce, or you've made your own salted caramel, then pour the rest of the batter on top. So it's gonna, some of it's gonna incorporate into the batter, but that flavor's gonna be there. But if you do it thick enough, you might end up with a stream. Mm. She wants to go out. Um, Bobby, mouth is burning <laughs> trying to taste a hot brownie. Bobby, how did they come out? How did they come out with oh, your Oh, they are good now, yay! Oh, thank you we, uh, for loving our merch, Jay and Claire. Uh, we do too, and we're so happy to work with um, Vegan Original. Vegan Original, yeah. Just because they're a fully vegan company, and they've just struggled and had to like cease trading for two months because of all this. Yeah. They're they're only just back, and we were one of the first things they did was contact us and say, guys, we're ready to go again. You know, um, and ready to go with new merch. Mm. We were like, thank you so much. Only UK for now, but that's going to change soon, I hope. As the world gets better, delivery will get better. Yeah, absolutely. I think a uh, swirl of raspberry puree would be beautiful. Oh, yes. In fact, we've done them fresh raspberries in mm. the brownie. Yeah, they were they? good. Really good. Um, I was a bit worried, but they were great. Yeah, we've done them with fresh ra raspberries. We've done them with fresh strawberries. We've done a blueberry. Blueberries brownie. were my favourite. Blue blueberries were amazing. Little pops. In it, yeah. yeah. They, they kind of kept the shape, didn't they? They were great. Yeah, they were amazing. To be honest, I was surprised. Like, most fruit that you put in, as long as you don't put a ridiculous amount in, 
Um, it should work. It should work great in uh, in the brownie mix. But like we were saying before, yes, Kelly, peanut butter. If especially if you had a if you if you took a bit of your oil and water mix out, here's a good tip for you: take just a bit, like four tablespoons of your of your, of your oil and water mix out and into a bowl mixed it with your peanut butter to make it even more liquidy yes <clears throat> and then the same as i said before about the salted caramel half your batter drizzle your peanut butter the other half your batter over the top be amazing mm. yeah but like we were saying before that's the great thing about this recipe is that you can literally put your own personal spin on it whatever Absolutely. floats your boat in terms of tastes and textures um, you can add it to it, and it's not gonna. It's not gonna. Uh... Ninety nine likes while we're on live. That's amazing. I don't think we've ever had that many while we've been live before. That's awesome. One more, and we've got an hundred. If anybody's watching and not liked, we've. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> likes while live. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody. That's awesome. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> oh, thank you, Deneen. Uh, Paul and Jason are definitely going to get your merch when they start back delivering to the US. Can't stop lying. Welcome to a live feed, our newest patron. And thank you for being a patron. Thank Much you. Much appreciated. Of course. Yeah, so it's all rocking. It's all awesome. Um, yeah. Smashed it. I'm really, 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 really. 107. Thank you, guys. Mm. I'm really, really, really proud of you. Oh, thank you. I am. Because I, I, the only reason I measure is easy. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, I can measure stuff. I could I could have done that. I couldn't have figured that out. It, it does make it so... I was easy. aware of it in the back of my head. I was aware that when you put a bowl on a scale, it's going to affect the number on the scale. What you can do is put your big bowl on the scale, if it fits, reset it, add your 250 grams of flour, reset it again, mm. then add your 350 grams of sugar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all in the same bowl, but you know, it, yeah, it, it it was good to be in separates this time. Happy days. So, so there, essentially, there we go. That's it. We've, That's we've it. done what we set out to achieve here, and I think everybody else has done what they set out to achieve in one way or another. You may have brownies as a result of that. You may not have brownies. And if you've not got brownies, I feel for you. And if you have got brownies, and if you're on Facebook, and if you're not already a member, we have a group. Uh, it's actually linked from the Those Vegan Guys Facebook page. Link at the top. It used to say send message. It's now a link to the group. Come and join the group and share your pictures. We'd love that. Yeah, big time. We love stuff like that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, the group's called That Greek, that Vegan Group. Vegan Food and Friendships. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's lovely. Over 500 members now. Yeah, take a picture. Tag us. Our page is on the way to 5,000 likes, but the groups are just over five, 500 members, and it's just nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And People Bobby... in there sharing great recipes and, you know. Bobby says, right, I had to turn mine over, so we'll send pictures. Oh. Interesting. Ah, I said, hello. <laughs> Deneen, thanks Jason, I have no brownies, lol. <laughs> Don't your scales have a, what, function? Uh, where are we looking? Perpetually annoyed. Oh, uh, don't your scales have a tar function? T-A-R-E? Don't know what that is. Not that I know of, there's just two buttons on them. Grams and ounces, on and off, or reset. On, off, reset. Uh, JJ Star says, hair looks good, Paul. Have you redone it today? Uh, Jay's done it for me. We've done each other's hair today. We've, um, yeah, I was it, I was crazy needing a shave. Yeah. As soon as I get kind of a millimetre of hair there, it, it starts to drive me crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, JJ and I said, here with stuff. And he was like, no, you shit hair. Didn't say that. <laughs> Didn't say that, did I? No. Uh, Muddy Paws, Jason uh, made an amazing malted banana loaf. Maybe you could try that next. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm, possibly. I am not a massive fan of banana. I have had banana bread and banana loaves before, and as long as they don't 
have um, a really strong, a really strong banana taste, which they don't generally, do they? No, they no, don't. Not usually. Um, so yeah, maybe. Oh, I'd be tempted. Yeah. Well, when we talk about our merch, by the way, this is merch. Ignore Karen; she isn't even vegan. Something I say quite often. Um, we've also got be excellent to yourself and each other. We've got down to earth vegan. We've got our good big faces. <laughs> On a t-shirt. Love that. Um, and mugs and bags and all sorts. So do check the link down in our description. You'll find the newest merch on page two of uh, of our merch pages on Vegan Original. Mm. Uh, Vegan Original are an amazing company. Mm. Every purchase plants a tree. To totally ethical and amazing. 100% organic. That's cotton. why we work with them. Yeah. Um, uh, apparently tar is the same as Reset. By the way, tar button. All oh, right, so yeah, it's like on off reset. Yeah. And Flemface has joined the group, uh, that vegan group. On nice. Facebook, one. So that's amazing. So yeah, I suppose really, um, just before we wrap this up um, and sit patiently waiting, waiting for, for our, our pizza. pizza delivery. Oh, it's a great day today. It's a great day. Um, we should probably just mention um, what's coming up fairly soon. You've already mentioned um, the awesomeness that's coming up with the Vegan Queens. Mm -hmm. um, Shall I mention that again? Mention that again, yes. So the 21st, Sunday the 21st of June at 3pm, the Vegan Queens will be live in this backyard offering you a socially distanced performance um, because all of their Pride gigs um, have been cancelled, obviously. Uh, the girls lost thousands of pounds in work over three months, literally thousands of pounds in work and it's not always about the money it's about performing it's about being able to perform and it's about being able to celebrate pride mm -hmm. um so we're going to lime pride <laughs> hashtag lime pride because it's happening in line side uh in our backyard on the 21st of june at 3 p.m and we would really love it if their channel got to a thousand subs before then so that they could get a super chat or two. That'd be awesome. They're only on 350 yard now. We've got four weeks from today. So if you can help in any way, the, they've shared the information on their Twitter, on their Facebook, and we shared it for them on our community feed uh, on our channel. So please have a look. It's going to be epic. Yeah, it's going it's to gonna be great. Be great. Um, you know, hashtag the Vegan Queen's Pride. They'll bring pride to you. You know it'll be awesome. Um, and there's lots of other stuff coming up, of course, on our channel. Yeah, we lots of other recipes. We're going to be working on a, many more whole food based recipes because they are healthier. They make you feel great, and we want to eat more of them. But we're always going to be the pie and mash guys as well. We're always going to stuff shove, shove things in pastry. We're always going to be stuffing our faces. Um, yeah, but there's loads more content coming up on the channel. Um, bits of music here and there from me and us. You know, um, we've got everything kind of ironed out and Paul's in the background constantly kind of chugging away and getting things as streamlined as possible to make it as easy as possible to, for people to find us as well. But I'd of like course... This. For things in future, I'd love for you to collab with an anti-vegan. Oh, the anti-vegan <laughs> nonsense. Uh, just scroll up. there we go yeah with an anti-vegan nonsense episode and just vent for a bit we need it sometimes what's anti-vegan nonsense you know all the anti-vegan nonsense on, uh, like oh like the hedge does and things like that the, the phone face i've done a few recently yeah. if you check our uploads folder look for the video with the thumbnail that says mad well we're mad mm. no i think what we don't generally tend to do as a rule See, of thumb. Thing. We don't generally tend to specifically go for another person on YouTube. So Paul might have a rant, because Paul rants a bit more than me. And I, might, I have my moments. I might do a comedy video yeah. where, where I pretend I hate Hench and, and Simna and it's actually a red <laughs> for them both. Yeah. Or I might do a little comedy thing of um, Sverage. But actually... Having seen the video that Michelle Law did about Sverage, I don't want to mm. mock him anymore. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I think he's a very sick boy. Yeah. And um, uh, so I don't want to give him any attention. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we've all kind of got our niche. We've all kind of got what we enjoy doing, what we're good at. 
And what we found is that this community that's kind of evolved and grown on YouTube and across our other social media is um, oh, kind of I more, get you. more responsive. I get you, Flem Face. Thank you for the clarification. No, she's just saying about responding to anti vegan nonsense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, do have totally. Uh, what I should do is, if you respond to some of the comments that I, where I hide the from the channel, because mm. I'm just like, no. No, no, because they truly believe that what they say is right and fair. And so, you know, there's others like that as well. Yeah, but so, how much time are you willing to put in? Because well, it's not like, much, but any, you know. If vlogs, somebody's not willing to sit and down and actually, vlogs. if somebody's not actually willing to sit down and watch a vlog, because most of the really, most of the nasty comments come from people who are not really watching the vlogs and they're not really paying attention and taking the message, so. Vintage Willow, are you guys friends with non-vegans? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of have to be. It's family. Uh, and we've got some very uh, wonderful friends. Uh, for example, our friends Kay and Ian in Yelbertoft, who we would normally go and see a good few times a year. We'd have been seeing them this weekend, quite likely. Always eat and cook vegan for us when we're there, which mm -hmm. is really gracious of them. Um, and have been making changes. You know, they are aware. Um, but we don't have, we have a very small friend circle actually, don't mm. we? Apart from our friends here on YouTube, you're our biggest friend circle. Yeah, big time. But actual people that we spend time with, <clears throat> socialise with, visit, very few. Very, very few. Right, shall we bring this... Um, Quite a few people have joined that vegan group. Well, brilliant. That's, yeah. that's brilliant. I did no doubt there'll be people to approve now. So we'll get off, clean up, get all this... Um, Pots to do. Just so as you know, we'll show you. So we're sat here in the kitchen, our laptop. We've got three <laughs> great big lights there. They've got to go uh, away, obviously. The table needs to go back to where it goes to. The laptop all needs disconnecting and the um, internet wire goes back into the TV. This isn't content. Uh, it is content. Oh, look at yourselves. Look at yourselves. What it's a we... laptop within a laptop within a laptop within a laptop. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's kind of crazy, actually. I love uh, that. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> we're going to wrap things up. <laughs> we're going to wrap things up. And, uh, of course, we are, as always, eternally grateful. Thank you so much to everyone for joining us. Thank you to everyone who cooked along. Thank you to everybody for the super chats. Thank you for just being awesome human beings who come and spend time with us and have a good laugh and chat with each other. Um, it's awesome. That's why we do this channel. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. And we couldn't love you anymore if we tried. True. Everything that you just said is absolutely bang on the money. Um, it warms my heart. It's been a difficult few months. It's been a particularly difficult week. Um, there's been ups and downs. We're all fighting the good fight right now. Um, so look out for each other. Give each other hugs if you're able to in this kind of situation. If not, hug yourself. Oh, Michelle, what's happened to your brownie? Oh, no. I think Michelle's brownies failed abysmally. Oh, and ours were so good, Michelle. What a shame. <laughs> I hope you're going to upload your video anyway. Yeah, do. Thank you to our uh, moderators, obviously, um, Bobby, Kelly and Hedge Rider, who are amazing and offer their time of their own free will because they're incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to everyone who took part. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for being our friends. Thank you for being lovely. Thank you for being vegan. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Love you. Couldn't, honestly, couldn't love you anymore if we tried. See you again soon. Until then. Be excellent to yourselves and each other.